You probably see friends going out to parties all the time, but on a Friday night, you're alone. Most would feel bad about this, but I'm here to tell you, this is an advantage. Studies have shown that loners are more successful in every area of life. And today, I'm gonna show you seven of them. One, you have few friends. This makes you happier. You see, social media has created a culture where the number of followers you have overshadows the quality of in real life friendships and relationships. And here's where it gets interesting. Despite social media giving us more access to people than ever before, for whatever reason, people around the world feel lonely and are reporting less friendships than ever before. Like I said, right, this might make most people sad. Like you can't fit in, like you don't have friends. You see everybody else having fun. But here's where being a loner becomes your primary advantage. You see, by you focusing on developing high quality relationships with a few people, rather than trying to keep relationships with a lot of people, you are more likely to be happier and be fulfilled. So here's a quick little trick you can do to see who your quality friends are. I want you to go off of social media for about a week or two. I also don't want you to message, DM, or text any of your friends first. Then I want you to see who goes out of their way to check up on you. What you're gonna notice is that those that you thought were your friends won't even reach out. This will give you perspective so you focus on the meaningful friendships. Think about it, despite being a loner, this is gonna make you happier. But this is not the best fact of all. As a matter of fact, there are six advantages that are basically superpowers. Reasons two to six will give you a competitive advantage you never realized you had. And tip number seven will show you how to use all of this to your advantage. Number two, you speak less, which makes you more attractive. You see, when you're a loner, it'll also make you talk less, which in turn, when you're around women, will make you seem more attractive. So. I'm gonna show you how to use this to your advantage. You see, this PhD scientist ran a study and he found that those men who talked less were perceived as more mysterious and masculine by women. This is optimal for dating because this perception is linked to the less is more effect. When you talk less, women will fill in those blanks with positive attributes. And so, this is why the guy that speaks a bit less in a group is seen as more confident, more self-assured. Qualities that are highly attractive to women. So when you're in a group setting, I want you to embrace the power of being the loner. Now, this doesn't mean that you're gonna sit there in a little corner all quiet. No, it's about actively listening. Your body language, it's still active, right? While you're assessing the personalities in the room, then when you do speak up, your words will carry more weight. And because you've been listening, and not dominating the conversation, people will be more inclined to pay attention every time you have something to say. Three, less friends make you smarter. You see, research shows that loners possess skills and qualities that make them smarter than their peers. Now, some might think, no way, this has to be made up. But think about it. If you're a loner, it's hard for you to compare yourself to other people to see how truly smart you are. I'm gonna break down three ways you are smarter as a loner and how to use it effectively. First, because loners are more often alone, they usually engage in deeper thought. Research shows that loners have more gray matter in the brain, which is what's responsible for decision-making and abstract thinking. In other words, as a loner, you have more alone time to problem solve smarter. I'll give you an example with myself. Look, when I'm researching to make videos for you guys, I'm locked in. I got a hundred tabs open from research papers, articles, surveys, stats, you name it, I got it open. And keep in mind, I'll give you guys 16 videos a month. In other words, I spent a lot of time in front of the computer, which means in those alone times, I had to think about how to optimize. And I optimize everything, even something as simple as my web browser. For example, I upgraded mine to Opera, which is free, but now when I'm switching between tabs, I minimize time wasted. This browser has a feature called Aria, which allows me to highlight the text that I want to know more about. I then click explain briefly, and then I found out exactly what I need to know from that tab so I can apply it to these videos for you guys. That level of optimization you do when you are alone, when you're thinking abstractly. Second, introverts are more successful in their particular field. One study found that 70% of gifted individuals are often loners, a result that comes from loners spending more time honing specific skills or diving into a specific skill over developing their social skills. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I know this all too well too. All of my time is spent in video creation and YouTube. I've done this for the last 10 years, just honing that craft, which is what I was just showing you, right? Like everything gets optimized. It, it, it could result in hundreds of tabs being open as I'm researching. 
So to not get distracted and think and operate like a loner, another reason I love Opera is that I can separate my tabs based on what I'm focusing on, whether that's work, leisure, or entertainment. That way, when I'm working and I'm researching, I'm not distracted by social media and other stuff. This makes it much easier to operate effectively. And third, as a loner, you're usually better people. You see, a study from 2013 found that extroverts are more likely to conform to the majority opinion, even if that opinion is wrong. In contrast, loners tend to stick to their opinion, moral, and values, even if it's not the popular one. Four, as a loner, you already have one of three skills that will make you rich. You see, as a loner, you're 33% there already to become financially successful. According to a book called The Triple Package, there are three unlikely traits that make people extremely successful. You have superiority complex, you have a deep insecurity, and you have impulse control. And as a loner, you already have one of these. Loners are usually a bit insecure that they don't fit in or they don't have enough friends. But that is your superpower. Do a thought exercise with me. Take a look. At the billionaire's list, look at all the top guys. They are all introverts. You name it. Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg. The list goes on and on. So use this as motivation because that means you only need to develop two other traits. The first one is that you need a superiority complex. You have to understand that you're that guy. You are the guy that you're waiting for to come and save you because no one else will. And the other trait is impulse control, which you need to develop to stay committed and disciplined on your goal. I'm gonna give you another example. Remember how I showed you my, my workstation with the Opera browser? I'm sorry I keep bringing this up, but it's so imperative to my success. That tab feature trick that I do, I do that on purpose to develop my impulse control. Because when I separate things by categories between entertainment and social media and work, research, and stuff that I know I have to do, now I can visually see the difference between leisure and work, I then prioritize and build up that impulse control during my workflow. You can do the same. You can download Opera for free and use it while you're doing your schoolwork or you're building your business, but you need that impulse control. You get all three, you're gonna be rich. Number five, you party less, which makes you healthier. One of the biggest perks of being a loner is that you are less likely to rely on alcohol as a stress reliever. Why? Because as a loner, you're not hitting up parties every weekend where alcohol is used as a confidence booster. In fact, one study found that when they started analyzing drinking behaviors of 781 participants, what they found is that those who began drinking at a young age were more likely to use alcohol as a coping mechanism or a stress reliever. And then another survey found that 66% of people regret their decisions while they're intoxicated. Both of those results are heavily influenced by a social circle. As a loner, you don't have to worry about that because you are free from what others think. You have full control over your decisions and you can deal with life without needing an external boost. So I want you to embrace the fact that you're not partying all the time, wasting your life. And no, I'm not saying that you should never party. It just means that you're not a slave to it. You as a loner have full control and you can use that extra time to focus on your health and build an amazing physique. Despite you being a loner, you get to build better relationships, which make you happier. You speak less, which makes you more attractive. You have less friends, which make you smarter. You possess one of three traits needed to become rich, and you're not influenced by peer pressure, so you don't waste your time partying all the time. This allows you to build an amazing physique in the gym. Do you understand being a loner is a superpower. And there's two last attributes that you still haven't even tapped into. Six, being a loner will make you successful at anything. Think about it. Most men that have a wide circle of friends, it leads them to just talk about their goals all the time. Oh, we should start a YouTube channel. Oh, we should start this business. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to build a great body. We're going to get a six pack by summer. Loners keep their goals close to their chest, which makes it more likely they'll be successful at it. Research from Ohio State University found that when you tell somebody your goal, your brain gets a premature sense of satisfaction, almost as if you've already achieved the goal. We're gonna call these people goal yappers. These are the guys that are always talking about what they're gonna do, but never do. This satisfaction they get then reduces their motivation of actually accomplishing that goal. As a loner, you tell nobody, which means that motivation is reserved, which is needed to put in the hard work to achieve the goal. 
And not only that, when you are alone with your goals, you are free from external influences or distractions. You're not gonna be swayed by others' opinions and doubts telling you, oh, you shouldn't do that. And it is that tunnel vision that allows you to plan, strategize, and remain consistent over others that aren't loners. So next time you feel a little bit down that you're a loner or you're alone, think about how this is an advantage for every goal you have set for yourself. This takes me to number seven. Loners, become top 1% men. Do you realize what just happened here? Everything we have covered in this video is a natural competitive advantage you have as a loner that will turn you into a top 1% man. You reach your goals, you're smart, you're more likely to become rich, you have more time to spend on your health and your body. And although this might not make sense to you just yet, Studies have shown that loners are the ones that end up becoming leaders. And the reason why loners become such good leaders is because they are comfortable in their own company, which makes them highly independent. And according to Harvard, independent people are more confident in their abilities and they are better at working alone, which means you don't need external validation or a pat in the back to get the job done. The key takeaway here is you do not need to be extroverted a larger than life character, or have a bunch of friends. Because being a loner who is independent is your greatest strength to win.